What's going on all you fantastic freelancers? William here with a video I've been mulling over making for quite a while now. I mentioned towards the end of my Anthem Endgame video that I was going to do a series after PAX West and Gamescom that would delve deep into the accusations that Anthem is a clone of, insert almost any shooter ever here. But I wanted to at least make the best case I could on a general scale before I start going game by game. In the last few weeks since joining the wider Bioware community from outlets such as BSN or just general social media, I've learned a lot as to why people feel the way they do about Anthem. Some people just flat out don't like multiplayer games and rather solo slash single player stories from Bioware. Some have lost faith in Bioware since Andromeda or EA from the loot box controversy, and I get it. However, no one is forcing you to play Anthem like it or follow news in regards to it and so on. There is no shortage of games that are out right now that you can play and no shortage of games that will be coming out next year to follow. However, I've already addressed those aforementioned points in other videos that you can feel free to check out later. My point being though, these reasons for not liking Anthem are understandable to a degree, and I certainly can respect those who prefer the single player experience or have their reservations in the wake of the 2017-2018 fiascos. But we've been beating this dead horse for about a month now, so it's time to move on. The only arguments I don't understand is the clone slash stealing debate. Like I said before, since E3 2018 and even before then, there has been no shortage of Anthem is a clone of everything or Anthem is stealing from everything statements. First of all, if you want to use that argument, say it shares similarities with other games. Don't say it's a clone or stolen mechanics from other games. But for the sake of argument, let's see if these clone slash stealing arguments hold any water. I'm going to preface this next statement by saying that I am a near five year long Warframe veteran. I've played and raided hard on Destiny 1 and 2, and I still play The Division from time to time with my good buddy. Sufficient to say I've played all these games extensively. First up is the clone debate. I've been putting Anthem up to every game that people have been shouting quite verbally that Anthem is supposed to be a clone of. These games include the ones mentioned before, Warframe, The Division, and of course Destiny 1 and 2. The point being, I don't see the exact same anything. Are there a few similarities that it shares with those games and those games subsequently share amongst each other? Sure. However, Anthem, like the aforementioned games, is doing a pretty good job at making those similarities their own so they work and behave differently in their game. I will happily cover those in the individual game comparisons after PAX West and Gamescom once we get more information and gameplay footage. Now did Anthem steal from insert game here? Absolutely not. If you make that argument, then every game ever has stolen something from every game ever. Dragon Age stole from The Elder Scrolls, or Mass Effect stole from slash is a clone of Fallout. You get the point. Just because a game shares mechanics with other games doesn't mean it's a clone of or doesn't mean that they stole anything from it. Not good enough for you all? Fine. If you take nothing away from this video except for the next analogy, then I've done my job and this video will have achieved its primary purpose. So let me start by asking you, are you a cat or dog person? Or both? Keep that in mind for the end of this analogy. Every game has a bone structure similar to its game genre, or for the sake of this analogy, its species. Let's say platformer games fall into the category of cats, while dogs are more the games like Destiny, The Division, Warframe, Anthem, the looter shooter games. Now bear with me, but do all cats or do all dogs look the same? No. Why is that though? Well, there are a variety of factors that separates them from one another, such as length, height, attitude, quirks, fur and eye color, and so on. However, what does one species of dog have in common with a different looking dog? They more or less have the same bone structure, i.e. legs, spine, neck, skull, joints, and so on. So let's take one part of the animal for instance. Let's say the tail of the animal is the crafting system in each respective game. Warframe has the most extensive crafting system of any game that we've seen so far. Granted, we haven't seen anthems quite yet, but for the sake of this argument, it has a long tail. Anthem has an element of crafting in it, so it has a tail as well. Well, lastly, we have a game like Destiny that lacks a crafting system altogether, so it doesn't have a tail whatsoever. You guys get the point, and you could pretty much make this comparison to any part of the animal, like the bark, the ears, the, uh, the eye color, so on and so forth. If you don't like a husky, maybe you will like a lab. If you don't like a lab, maybe you will like a pug. If you don't like any breed of dog or the gaming genre it represents in this analogy, then maybe cats are for you. The point is, not all dogs look the same, and not all games in the genre look the same. They have similarities like the bone structure, but that's about it. You don't have to like all dogs, or all games in the genre, or any for that matter, and no one is forcing you to own one. Similarly, Anthem doesn't look, act, steal, or is a clone of any of these games. You don't like Anthem, 
fine. There's Warframe, not a fan of Warframe, Destiny, not a fan of Destiny, and the list goes on. If you don't like any of these games in general, no problem. Go enjoy the genre slash species you enjoy. Just don't heckle those who own slash like the genre slash species, and don't heckle them as all looking or being the exact same. Hopefully I didn't lose anyone to this analogy, this is just merely one I got from a commenter that I course corrected ever so slightly. Anyways freelancers, that about does it for this video. What do you all think of the Anthem clone debate? Does it hold any water? Did my analogy help at all? Whatever the case, please let me know in the comments section below, and if you enjoyed the video, well, you all already know what to do. I hope you all have a golden day, and looking forward to seeing you all in the next one. Peace out everyone.